truly respect Guy Stoker. And I'll tell you more about Guy in just a few moments. And it's sung by Cathy Crinion, who has the most gorgeous voice ever. I'll let you make your own comparisons, your own analogies, whatever they want to be. This is an amazing song, very, very heartfelt. First time I saw it, the hairs on the back of my neck went up, and in actual fact, I cried, okay? That's how powerful this is. This is Although You Can't See Me. see me it's part of a double a sided single um, that is being released and I'll, I'll give you more information about this because it, it kind of links to a challenge that I'm doing in the summer so I'll talk about that a little bit later on Kathy I know she's listening in this evening has got the most gorgeous voice what did you reckon to that well it was a, just an effortless effortless vocal it was it was it perfect, wasn't it you, you know Karen Carpenter came out that's yeah. what I heard straight away that's exactly what I thought I mean I, again I, I didn't I'm always reluctant to make comparisons purely because some people don't like it some people do I really like it honestly really seriously like that. that was brilliant mm. I loved that absolutely amazing um, Kathy, you've got an absolutely gorgeous voice. If ever you're passing through North Devon, come in and, and do a live rendition of that one. The guy that wrote it, Guy Stoker, is uh, a tremendous guy. Now he um, he won't mind me saying because we've been in he's been in his talks about epilepsy in the past. He suffers from epilepsy, and he's very very involved with the whole epilepsy um, charities and organisations to teach people about epilepsy and, and and you know how to work with it, how to live with it, and how to kind of get by through the struggles of epilepsy and the. the the amazing amount of arrays of types of epilepsy. I mean, this guy just knows more about epilepsy than anyone else that I've met. And we, I met him because seven years ago I lost my brother through epilepsy. Um, very, very sad, very poignant event in my life, which is leading me to do a challenge in the summer where, along with Lee Wardle from The Voice and also um, Steve Lee's brother, we're cycling from Land's End to John O'Groats um, to raise money for SUDEP action. Um, SUDEP being sudden unexpected death and epilepsy. Um, now, it's a massive challenge because in order to do so, I've had to lose loads and loads of weight. We call it Chub Cycle Challenge because I was in, I was massively overweight. I've lost seven and a half stone. Still got a couple of stone to lose, and by the end of that challenge, well, hopefully in August, we'll make it all the way thousand miles. Um, very, very achy backsides, no doubt, but feeling good that we've raised some money for charity and done some good deeds. So we're looking forward to that one. And you know, th this this song from Kathy, although you cannot see me, is just a phenomenal, um, what kind of 
insight into Guy's writing mind because he's just a brilliant songwriter and I know he's a friend of mine but I just have to say that is just a brilliant song the first time I heard it the tears welled up in my uh, yeah. eyes it was very amazing. emotive really good lyrics listen Dan thank you for coming in this evening I've it's really been an absolute myself. pleasure having you here will you come back when you've got some your, your new EP out yeah if you want me to come back I would I'd love, love to, to have back. you back I mean, I've, got, I've got your app on my phone if you haven't got it get it go to the app store the voice FM 